This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is notification configuration, okay. customization of notification, basically. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover, we will see how to create a new notification type, configuration of the tab pages, how to configure, configure the tab pages of the notification, long text control, then defining the field selection okay how which field has to be made mandatory which field has to be uh, uh, to be in display mode uh, so those things we will cover then defining the number ranges okay how the number range is assigned to the notification type define default order type when you convert the notification to order uh, what order type it has to propose by default how to configure that then catalog profile how to do how to assign a catalog profile to the notification type then partner determination procedure then configuring the priorities we will see priorities configuration print control settings and object information key assignment so these are the topics we will be covering in the notification configuration okay so basically uh, whenever you uh, create a new notification type okay so you need to do such certain configuration okay so like you create notification type then you assign a number range then you define the screen layouts then priority type okay and then long text okay then you ask you do the field selection activity object information key okay order type default order type then catalogs and assigning the catalog profiles to the notification and then general notification so these are the uh, customizing activities you need to perform. We will see these things one by one. Okay. So uh, normally what happens is uh, you go to the system. Uh, so so to create uh, so let me let me put this as SPRO. I'll open one more session. So normally to create notification, we have IW21. Okay, so when we are creating a notification, we, I used a notification type M1 and M2. Okay, so when when we use M1, you are getting these screens. Okay, so but let's say in the real time, your client wants a new notification type. He says, I don't want this. Let's say if you go to this screen, let's say he don't want uh, let's say this this he don't want this tab itself okay or he don't want this scheduling over your tab sometimes okay so if that is the case you need to go for a new notification type creation okay so when you create a new notification type what configuration settings you need to do that we are discussing today okay so what we will do we will create a new notification type called uh, S1 today. S1. Okay, we will create a new notification type called S1. Okay. So this we discussed already. All the notification type notifications belong to the plan maintenance module. They belong to the category 01. This you cannot change it. This is standard SAP. All the notifications created in PM module, they belong to the category 01. This you cannot change it. It's a standard SAP. Okay, now notification type says you what type of notification you are creating, whether in a maintenance request or a breakdown report or a normal activity report, which one. So if you need a new notification type, you can configure as per your requirement. So today we will configure S1, yes notification type S1. Yes. Okay, ah, so to first create a notification type, and let me show you from the beginning go to SPR, okay, go to SPRO. Then here you see there is a button, SAP reference IMG, implementation guide. Click on this, you will get this screen, scroll down. You need to go to plan maintenance and customer service. Open this, okay, now here you have maintenance and service processing. Open this, okay, here you have maintenance and service notification notifications open this okay here notification creation open 
open this here notification types open this define notification types here you need to create open this here you have already some notification types but let's create a new one so you need to click on new address okay yes one is already there okay let's do one thing let's create b1 or let's create k1 you will create k1 okay click on the button new address you will get this screen let's create k1 okay maintenance request maintenance request okay notification category you see it is grayed out system will automatically assign see notification category it is it is grayed out system will assign notification origin select this general maintenance notification select this reference time click on the list notification received okay catalog profile we will assign later point of time okay process okay that's okay process keep it as blank i'll tell you this early number allocation and number range we will assign later enter okay update group pmis general okay done now save the notification time so we are creating a new notification time save it i'll put it in a new transport request click on the button create request put as pm k1 notification creation notification creation okay so let me save this continue okay so notification type is created suppose now we we created the notification type suppose if i try to use this now again i'm into iw21 if i go to notification type now see now the k1 is showing here suppose now if i try to use this k1 now if i enter you see you are getting a error member range for notification type k1 not maintained that means you have to do some other configuration just creating a notification type will not suffice you have to do some other configuration that is this one so once creating the notification type once creating the notification type you need to do a lot of configuration this configuration you have to do okay so then only using that notification type you can create a notification and you can process it so you have to do all this long text control notification origin reference time order type number assignment field selection all this configuration you need to do so now we will do this all this configuration okay so first is the defining the screen layouts so now if you see in the notification you have some tabs you have these tabs right you have these tabs and each tab we have some subscreens here you see there is subscreen reference object okay and the another subscreen is subject so normally you will have tabs under the tabs you will have subscreens this is called subscreen in the subscreen you will have the fields these are called fields individual fields so now you have to configure the tabs and subscreens okay so first thing so now let's do that okay what i will do i'll just go to iw21 more time i will select m1 so that i can take it as a reference m1 enter so now here what is the first tab notification this notification tab is having three subscreens reference object responsibilities subject and item it is having four subscreens basically one two three and four it is having four subscreens so these things you need to configure okay so now let's configure for our k1 so now go back in the configuration okay here set screen templates for the notification type you need to go there okay enter your notification type our notification type is k1 enter cut in okay so now you will get this screen here you need to configure the screen templates first click on new entries click on new entries okay
okay so first tab what is a tab notification tab is notification so select here sim tab 01 notification one select the tab okay give the tab title notification this is the tab title activate the tab checkbox enter now the moment you enter here you have the screen areas these are nothing but your subscreens so 